Gonna do a little video today to talk about the exciting topic that is Defender Bonnets. So, this is a Land Rover Defender Bonnet. We've got an array of different bonnet options lined up on the car park for you today to go through. So, this is the standard original Land Rover Defender Bonnet used up until around 2007. It's made from aluminium and it dips down in the middle so it's sort of got these buttresses at the side, comes down and then goes up again there. Um, they all take the same hinge which are just screwed on there and they've got a little bar at the back that slots into some little nylon bits on the back. Um, so that was the original one used up to 2007. You can add checker plate or various things to that if you want to stand on your bonnet to get on your roof. Right, let's go on to the 2007, what a lot of people call the Puma bonnet. And you'll notice it's got this big bulge that goes up in the middle here. So if I look at it from the front, you can see we've got this bulge going up. Now the interesting thing is, and also you'll notice this front edge here is very flat. It sort of goes up and you've got this flat, whereas you compare it to the earlier one, it goes up and then down. Um, so you can get the bigger Defender lettering on this sort of flat plinth you've got across the front here. Okay, now interestingly, I don't know why, um, this bonnet is a genuine bonnet. We bought this new from Land Rover. It is made from steel, it's magnetic. This is the original early type one, which was aluminium. A lot of the early Defenders are aluminium. The advantage is obviously aluminium's lighter, doesn't rust, so I don't, it seems retrograde to me to go to steel, but there we go. These are quite expensive, they're around £500 for this steel bonnet. Um, do you want to model the inside of that bonnet for me, Ian? Do you want to just lift up and show what it looks like under the... So obviously with the steel bonnet, you've got the full... Con sort of double skin construction underneath. You've got the areas where you can add some soundproofing. Um, and again, that fits. You can swap that straight over from the, the standard bonnet. You can just drop that one straight on. The hinges swap over. The bonnet catch all lines up. Everything should be the same. But you've just got that nice sort of power bulge in there. Now, because they're so expensive, um, there are several fiberglass types on the market. So this looks the same, it's got the same, it's hard to see because it's white. But you can see it's all moulded there. And it, Ian, do you want to model the underside of that one? Um, fiberglass, the advantage, it's not going to rust, it's lightweight. Um, it, it's fairly neat. The, the problems come when you've got to attach your bonnet release the spring and the little sort of arrowhead spearhead bit that locates um, on this bonnet we got we can't see where you would attach the bonnet stay so you've got to attach the bonnet stay somewhere and obviously your emergent your secondary bonnet release but they're, they're a pretty good job and they vary in quality um, we'll probably put some for sale on the work the website we found some pretty nice ones so we'll put that on there now we try to come up with a solution, and we have come up with a solution, for converting a standard bonnet to a Puma type bonnet. So if you want to grab that, so what we've made is we've made a, a fiberglass panel here. If you just want to show the underside, lift that up. So it's a fiberglass panel um, that just bolts and bonds onto your existing bonnet and makes it look like a Puma bonnet. So let's just show how that works. So you just take it, and you place it on top of your... It's a bit tricky to see because we've got black on black. And, but what we've done is we've moulded the checker plate into the fibre glass. And what it does, it, it doesn't look like you've stuck a bonnet bulge on. It actually looks like you've stuck checker plate on. So what we're trying to make it look like is if you get checker plate on the Puma bonnet. So we've got a bit of checker plate down there. So if we were to, so if you spend £500 on a bonnet and then you go and buy a bit of checker plate that's another £150, it'll look something like that, uh, which isn't dissimilar to the look you get by just putting our cover panel on top. The advantages are you've now got a flatter area at the front here to, um, to put the lettering on so you can get the Defender lettering. You've got the bonnet look and you've also got the checker plate look and you could paint the checker plate area a contrasting colour if you choose. So say you had a black car, you could do like the, the checker plate silver and the bulge and the side bits here. 
um, in black as a contrast. And you should also be able to, who's going to stand on the fiberglass and see if it will take the weight? You should be able to stand on the side of that. I think the bonnet's creaking, but the fiberglass is perfectly strong enough to, so it should aid your access onto the roof, but don't try standing on the bulge area. One thing you might want to consider doing is actually putting a foam inside the, um, the bulge. We have put some countersunk holes here so that you can bolt that on. We'll supply that with countersunk bolts so that you can bolt it on. Probably worth putting a bit of silicon glue on there as well, just to stop it vibrating. But there we go, that's the Defender bonnet options we've got sorted for you today.